Hi. Hello. Thank you for joining us for yet another episode of How to Draw Anything. My name is Debbie. I work for San Mateo County Libraries, um, and you would normally find me at the Millbury Branch. And we also have... My name is Lynn. I also work for the San Mateo County Libraries. You may recognize my face from the Belmont Branch or from all the other art programs that we've been streaming online. And we just finished up a very fun run of having lots of guest stars on our episodes. We just did a whole run of doing OC-tober. We had a ton of fun with it. I hope you did too. But now it is done. <laughs> we are into yeah. November. Everyone participate in NaNoWriMo instead, but that's writing instead of art. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. But uh, I think we're going to go back to our roots. You're going to give me a prompt. Mm -hmm. completely blind, is that right? It's actually almost like, I feel like this is already, it's another extension of OC-tober in a way. Oh. <laughs> that is okay. So it's going to be another OC. Ah, I think, fun. I think. Um, but yeah, I have a prompt in mind. I have mm -hmm. all on my mind. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if you could draw a character that's very much fall, like the embodiment of fall, but also in fairy form. Ooh. I don't think I've seen you draw a fairy I yet. I don't think I've done a fairy. Yes. Okay. So I'm thinking like so a, a fall fairy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is something that you could have a lot of fun with. <laughs> okay, we will give that a shot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen in three, two, one. Yeah. And hop into that. I haven't picked a canvas yet. We're going to go with this one. Ooh, here, tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> a throwback. I need to make a new layer. <laughs> a previous episode of How to Draw Anything. Check our YouTube page. <laughs> yeah, we've got a handy dandy playlist, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, square. Is this a square format? It is. I go oh. back and forth sometimes. Oh, nice. Have you drawn a fairy before? I don't think I have. Oh. Cool. Sometimes I think of those... Um, a rainbow magic uh, mm -hmm. story. Rainbow, uh, yeah. There's yeah. so many of them. There's so many. Rainbow Magic uh, is a series of young, juvenile, easy readers uh, that we have in the library. And the series is like, I don't know, the shelf is like at least this long of mm -hmm. skinny paperback books that lots of young people love to read. Yeah, they're, they're definitely very popular, and I legitimately never heard of them until I started working in the library. And was Me too. Like, oh, there's like 50 of these already. Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> there's some series that I definitely grew up with when I was a kid that were kind of like my go-to recommendations. And then there's others where, like, I've discovered along the way, like, oh, that's the new, like, rating mm. thing of <laughs> whatever. Right, totally. Uh, like the one, the, you know, the, the next Harry Potter or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody reads Dogman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, to be fair with that one, like, I, Captain Underpants was definitely... A series I read a lot as a kid, so it's the same author. <laughs> I'm older than you, and I read it as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun. Uh, they are fun. Yeah. <laughs> They're very charming. Dave, Dave Pilkey is a creative person, you know, despite like the potty humor, which mm -hmm. I actually like, but um, I always thought it was very creative and mm -hmm. fun when they, when he broke the fourth wall and, you know, kind of made the, the stories a little bit more interactive with the mm -hmm. reader. Yeah, that's always what kind of got me. Yeah. And I think Dogman, Dogman is a, like a spinoff from, from uh, Captain Underpants, is that right? Oh, is it? 
I think so because I think the main characters of Captain Underpants, oh. Harold and I forgot I forgot their names, two boys. Mm-hmm. I think they drew a comic. Oh, I, if I recall okay. this right, and I think it might have been Dogman. Oh, that's cute. I could be wrong though. I could have been making that up. <laughs> <laughs> Considering their characters, even if it wasn't directly them, that's like a cute sort of head cannon to go into the mm-hmm. series. Exactly. Ooh, scarf. A warm mm-hmm. scarf. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh, yeah. Gotta start wearing scarves again. I know. I'm excited. Oh. Fall's my favorite season just for yeah. like clothes. Yeah. I think I'm a spring person. Mm. I just love sweaters and scarves. <laughs> yeah. I don't like being cold. Mm. Maybe maybe I need more sweaters and scarves. <laughs> <laughs> that that would help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up channeling a little bit of like the rainbow magic. Aww. Where a lot of their covers are just kind of cute little fairy girls and cute clothes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fun. What do you love about fall? Um, I like the colors mm-hmm. a lot. Um, like I said, I like the clothes. I just like sweaters. I think they look very good on people and they're also extremely just like nice to wear. (laughs) One of those things where, I don't know, they're just cozy. I like the shape and how easy it is to just be like, and then I throw it on and then suddenly I look good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And I like dressing in layers more than... just being like a single top. <laughs> right. Sometimes the scarf will do the same thing. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, this scarf makes it just, me look fancy. <laughs> yeah. It's just like you put on your normal stuff and then you add a couple layers and then all of a sudden it's like, and now you look put together because yeah. you accessorized. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you took, you had some, you made some effort to make this scarf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In reality, you didn't. You're just wearing three different shirts. <laughs> <laughs> but you color coordinated them so it looks good. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of like being in like California, how fall isn't as cold as it could be <laughs> as other places. So, like, you get the crisp, chill air in like the mornings and evenings, but in the afternoons, it's still like the warm, sunny, but not like overbearing heat, like mm-hmm. in the summer. Sometimes we get it really hot. In the, oh in the yeah, fall. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get our Indian summers a lot. Yeah, exactly. Which is why fall doesn't really start until November, in my opinion. <laughs> yep, I agree. I actually, very much agree. Sometimes like late October. Yeah. Yeah. Usually by the time it hits late October. You're at least at the point where, like, the nights are very cold. Yeah. So even if you were dressing up warmer for the day. <laughs> I always think of, like, night. Yeah. I always think of, like, Halloween. Like, Halloween is when you think, oh, is the weather going to be questionable, you know, for, mm-hmm. for the kids to go trick-or-treating? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. that's when it starts. Although I don't think we've had a rainy Halloween for many years. No. We are going to have a full moon on it, though, which is very fitting. Actually, I think by the time this airs, Halloween has passed. <laughs> we had a full moon on it. <laughs> it was very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break the illusion. <laughs> Sorry, we do film this ahead of time. <laughs> just, just a little. Not just by too little, much, yeah. but enough that we haven't experienced Halloween yet, but you probably mm-hmm. have. So I hope you had a good Halloween. Mm-hmm. <laughs> probably didn't get to do your usual trick-or-treating but that's okay you can still dress up you can still buy candy at half price if i was a kid i would probably be doing a scavenger hunt of candy around the house like an easter but spooky <laughs> and also there's plenty of horror movies and less scary things that you could be watching and just have true. some fun with very true you can even use this year's slightly weird Halloween as an excuse to just keep wearing your costume as much as you want. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, I see a lot of kids like wearing costumes, like, you know, 
just during the weekend or something. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, now's the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pre Halloween. And then you can have post Halloween and just yeah. keep going. <laughs> yeah. Give yourself something fun to do. <laughs> my, my, did I tell you my October challenge? You know, we did OC-tober for, mm-hmm. for our videos, but. I don't think you told me. Uh, I did get to see a few of your drawings, but that was oh. off camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I've been doing Drawloween <laughs> all month. And so they're all like Halloween or monster based uh, prompts. Mm. So I've been I've been in Halloween mode since October first. So. <laughs> <laughs> the most correct way to go about it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not usually like a huge Halloween like fiend, you know. Mm-hmm. But I think in years, recent years, I feel like I've been getting more and more into mm-hmm. it, working on like fun costumes and such. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Halloween for me is very much one of those things where I kind of came to enjoy it because I saw other people enjoying it so much. Mm -hmm. Like, I was looking forward to seeing what they were going to do because they loved the holiday. Mm -hmm. I am, frankly speaking, a wimp when it comes to anything, like, spooky or scary. (laughs) And so what I always liked doing with Halloween was just giving away, like, things to kids who came to the door. Mm -hmm. Anything else, I'm just like, and that's an other people thing. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> oh. as years go by the more you get to see other people doing their thing the more you're like oh i just look forward to your enjoyment oh that's that's very sweet actually <laughs> i do that with a lot of things yeah. it's like i'm not into that thing but i know you're into that thing yeah. i'm into the fact that you're into that thing yeah yeah <laughs> i just appreciate the enthusiasm yeah exactly seeing people get happy and excited about things makes me happy and excited yeah. Yeah. I decided to make a whole leaf, and I have no idea what the hand would look like for that. Mm. Um, holding it with fingers. Something like that. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> she looks so good so far. Oh, thank you. I like her leafy skirt. Yes. <laughs> Figured I'd do something that was like a little more whimsical fairy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you need me to model this way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I was like, which way do the fingers go? Okay, back at the end here. Okay. That'll be good enough. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And the lovely thing about fall leaves is that, and leaves in general, but especially fall leaves, you can just really improvise the edges because they're all so <laughs> Crinkly. Yep. Craggly makes them fun to draw and easy to get the texture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think November November has at least one little drawing challenge that I've seen go around in previous years. Really? Yeah. Um, I've never participated myself. But I've always liked it when I see other people, because it's, um, I think its nickname is Hue-vember, like Hue as in colors. Oh, okay. And so it's about having a different color palette for every day that you make a drawing based off of. That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And people make some absolutely stunning things, like inspired by it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, November, I think more so is kind of, if you're doing any challenge, it's going to be Nanarimo. (laughs) Yeah. Which, National Novel Writing Month, it's all about writing your novel in the span of a month. And it has to be at least 50,000 words, I think. Something, like if you're doing the official actual challenge, it's something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, my version of it is usually, I'll have like a little short story that I'm working on throughout the year. And then November is my month where I'm like, and then I finish it. Yeah, that's so cool. All of it. That's cool. (laughs) Yeah, it's been fun. And it's been a good means of getting me to actually finish writing things, which I wasn't 
really accomplishing for a very long time. Mm. So I don't quite know how much I'll be able to meet that goal this year because I'm in school. I have to uh -huh. now, unlike previous years. You're writing your papers instead. Yeah, but I do have a short story that I'm hoping to at least get more done. Nice. This year. I'm really bad at, like, once October, or sorry, November 1st hits, mm -hmm. then I stop drawing. <laughs> it's like, I did 31 days. It's a lot. I need a break. <laughs> but I'm always, like, also surprised at my ability to commit to it every single mm -hmm. day in October. Mm -hmm. And... It's like, well, if I can commit to it in every single day in October, how come I can't motivate myself <laughs> throughout the rest of the year? Like to draw a few times a week, you know? Mm -hmm. I guess it's the social pressures of posting the drawing online. You yeah, know, like you get to see everyone else who's also participating. Right, exactly. Which I think is a big aspect of it. Yeah. And also, and it's, oh, it is a lot. Like, yeah. I think part of what makes it easier to do it in a 31 day spurt is almost that you have that end date. Like mm -hmm. doing it every single day, you're always doing it every single day until you arbitrarily decide to stop. That's Whereas when it's the one month, you have an end goal. Right. It's funny. It's fun or it's fun because I've got also gotten my, um, my fam a few of my family members who don't mm -hmm. consider some themselves to be like you know artists or drawers mm -hmm. but they still like will you know doodle something out that's like mm -hmm. hilarious or really creative or mm -hmm. I didn't know my auntie had uh, such drawing talent you know like she Aww. puts all these details so it's like really fun I just love mm -hmm. I love how like the uh the, the October drawing challenges have like kind of expanded to you know, it's not, it's not just my family that has mm -hmm. been participating. I'm, I'm hearing, like, about other families doing it together, like, especially as, like, a fun kind of, you know, quarantine, you know, yeah. uh, activity. Like, we can share this with you from a, a mm -hmm. long distance and, um, uh -uh. you know, still interact with our loved ones in a, mm -hmm. in a different way. So it's, it's lovely. It's a lovely mm -hmm. challenge. Ooh, I like her boots. Ah, are you. those boots or are those tights? Or uh, tight. So boots okay. up to here and then tights. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I like the boots. Because mm -hmm. skirts look great with sweaters, but if it's cold, you don't want bare legs. True. <laughs> I always like boot weather too, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boots are my favorite. Yeah, boots make you look good too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything about fall clothes, just like naturally, just <laughs> it makes you look good. That's true. <laughs> I know, like during summertime, like I don't wear shorts outside of my own home. <laughs> they look horrible. On me. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> it's not a good look. I can, I feel like I can never pull it off. Like I'll see other like you know women wearing shorts and whatever mm -hmm. on top, and it's like okay, you look like normal and good, but for me, it's like ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but I can do the boots. I can do the boots and sweaters. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, I think we are at a point where we have two options because I think we have about 10, 15 minutes left. Mm -hmm. So either I can try and clean up the line art a little more so that we have a crisper drawing, or I can leave it sketchy, but maybe do some color. I think since fall has, colors is such a key thing about fall, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna request colors. Okay. I'm going to cheat slightly and make the lines darker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one of my favorite tricks. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's merge these. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm going to make you pick the colors. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking her skirt is a multicolored skirt. So maybe some light oranges, maybe 
even a green in there, like mm. orange, and reds, and greens, and stuff. yeah, exactly, Oops. or yellows. It's like the everything fall colors, mm -hmm. but kind of like makes her a little bit more festive, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. We can definitely do that. I'm just going to pick these very arbitrarily and go okay. with whatever my first instinct is. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> we'll hope that it works. Yes. I'm trying to think of how her wings, what color her wings are going to be. Maybe the wings can be like a more yellow. So leave. Okay. No, no yellow in the skirt. Okay. Just so we have it queued up, what about like hair and skin? Like how fairy do we want her to look? How magical should she be in terms of mm. <laughs> unrealistic colors? Good question. Huh. I was thinking brunette, like as a... Okay. That was my first instinct. Not that green. I said my first instinct. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. Uh, I know you said no yellow, but I'm going to make it like a more golden yellow then. That sounds good. Yeah, fall has such nice colors. Mm hmm Kind of wish we had more of the the fall colors. Yeah, <laughs> here in California, like just you know you don't get to see those like wow amazing mm -hmm. you know color changes. Yeah, not not quite as much. Uh -huh. Like we have a tree in our front yard that may or may not be a Japanese maple. Mm. I don't a hundred percent remember. But it does get like genuinely really nice fall color mm -hmm. to the point where we've caught people just sort of like looking at it Aww. <laughs> in the fall. Like there was one year where with the way the leaves changed, like one side of it was pure yellow. Wow. And the other side was still like green and still turning. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. Yeah, it was very cool. It's very fun. Like, it's kind of our only tree that does that. Mm -hmm. but it, it always puts on a show when it's yeah. full time. Yeah. Sometimes I wish, you know, like I should go to like one of those East Coast mm -hmm. states that have, you know, mm -hmm. like the beautiful fall colors. Actually, I once went to like the Adirondacks in upper upstate New York, I guess is what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was like in early September. Mm -hmm. And it was just starting the color changes. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't quite see like the full on like, wow, 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 you know, color mm -hmm. changes, but we're seeing we're seeing the start of it, and that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I was I was rock climbing actually. So sometimes mm -hmm. you know we would be high up, look around, and you turn around, 
Mm-hmm. And then you see those color changes, like, oh my God, this is the most beautiful thing ever. <laughs> mm-hmm. That would be a sight. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh, one week later, it would have been like even more. <laughs> even more. <laughs> Ooh, color changing me. Yeah, because she's a fairy. Yeah. Cool. Okay, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think of... Um, uh, 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 I'm thinking <laughs> the scarf would probably be like kind of orangey. Okay. Still trying to think of the skin. Mm. It can be anything. She is a fairy. I know, like, but I'm like, I'm thinking like purple skin will not look that good mm. with these colors. That's also fair. <laughs> um, neither would blue. Mm-hmm. Like nothing in the blue. Yeah, in all fairness, a lot of the, she's going to have a lot of color in her outfit. So something right. more along the lines of like neutral brown is probably going to be. Yeah. Probably. Yep. Got to have plaid for the fall. (laughs) Yeah, totally. Another reason why I like it. Well, that's also just good. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wore my plaid flannel yesterday for the <laughs> first time in a long time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go ahead and make her boots brown. Oh. Take some liberties. Yeah. Darker tights. Okay. Maybe like almost blackish. Yeah, like a dark gray. Mm-hmm. Got a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, best, best. I don't normally get to my coloring stage because I spend mm-hmm. more time cleaning up my lines. Yeah. I'm also actually coloring in for once rather than doing my oh yeah select an area and color drop i could do that at some point but okay, you then gonna do it now oh you're not <laughs> i thought you were gonna do it <laughs> no i won't <laughs> okay <laughs> all right we have her sweater and so yeah skin i guess just kind of a palish uh, I don't know how to describe. Maybe something a little rosy? Sure. That might look nice. Her big old eyebrows. Let's see. like her freckles too. (laughs) I saw an opportunity and I said. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What color should her eyes be? Okay. This could be a little off. Yeah. These we can have some fun with. Yeah. <laughs> so indec- indecisive though. Maybe a purple can work. Okay. Maybe. I mean, it's just a little bit. Mm-hmm. You can make it a fairly dark purple. Okay. That might. Oh yeah, that's pretty fall color. 
Okay. Sweater, I think, should be dark. Okay. Uh, what color in particular? This is a dark gray because it's kind of fur under. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's underneath. Okay. Almost works when it's light too. Uh huh. You're almost there. <laughs> uh, uh, are you wait? Are you coloring it already? The sweater? No, I'm doing the sparkles. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> wait, no sparkles yet. <laughs> it's just to fill the time. Uh, uh, it's uh, so I get them done. <laughs> Uh, because I was thinking either like a really dark gray, but you already did it for the pants and mm. the under. I mean, we can still do gray, but like maybe a slightly lighter gray so that maybe. it leaves contrast. Can we see how it looks? Yeah. Let's do. Yeah, sure. That's where it landed. <laughs> <laughs> if I really had time, I would have made it an actual knit sweater. <laughs> mm. Ooh, how would you do that? I don't know, which is why oh. I need more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Ha! Nice. I think it would have been more so in the cleaning up the line stages so that I could actually add some like line textures and not have it blur in the sketchiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sweater weather. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Nice. extremely quickly and messy. Okay. okay. <laughs> the world's laziest shading. I thought I would multiply. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I always like seeing your magic when you do that. <laughs> I do too, which is why I like to do it. <laughs> it just adds a nice little final touch. Even when you do it messy, I find yeah. it still adds a surprising amount of like depth suddenly. Yeah. Almost there. <laughs> <laughs> I won't keep you guys for much longer. <laughs> so cool. Mm -hmm. No, I like doing this trick a lot. Mm -hmm. like you're tracing your own work too. <laughs> okay, we'll call it there. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Okay. Lovely. Yay! And totally, totally makes me feel like she feels like fall. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Good job, Lynn. I feel like if this was a Rainbow Magic character, it'd be like Autumn, the fall fairy. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Which may already <laughs> exist. <laughs> probably, probably. <laughs> All right, well, there's Yay. a fall fairy. Yay! Leaves from green to red. Very <laughs> fairy. Right. Yeah, that was fun. That was a yeah. good one. Yes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop my broadcast. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn, for drawing yeah. for us. Always yeah. fun to see what mm -hmm. you come up with and even came up with a new OC even though it's not yeah. October Yeah, anymore. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's and, fun to come up with new OCs all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I guess, I mean, that's what our show is, too. I yeah, mean, we, yeah. We, it depends on how you kind of con contextualize them. Right. Like, yeah. But yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was going <laughs> to Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, have you been drawing your own OCs? <laughs> have you been drawing along with us on how to draw anything? 
Mm -hmm. um, if you have, we'd love to see your drawings. You can always tag us at SMC Libraries um, or you can use the hashtag SMCL Creates when all my sheets get a little dinged up. I'm gonna have to make a new one. Um, use those hashtags or uh, tag us and we will see your drawings and we would love to share them on the air if we if we've got time. But you can also go to our website, smcl.org for all the latest updates on um, all the great programs that we offer, um, whether they're virtual programs or even just um, informational um, pages. Mm -hmm. we, um, uh, we just started a walk up curbside service. Yes. So, um, so that is an option for you. You know, you no longer have to um, make an appointment. If you want to pick up your holds, you can actually come to walk up services Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So try that out. Um, place your holds and come to the library. Mm -hmm. um, did I miss anything? Uh, I think those are the main points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks as always for tuning in and I hope you have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Bye, everybody.